welcome to Board Game Empire. Uh, we're going to be doing the game um, Couple Connect, Talk, Connect, and Experiment. Um, we previously, as you know, did Couple Reconnect, which is meant for couples that have been together, I think, 15 years or more. Um, so we will put the link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. Because each, each one, um, these are put out by uh, Tanya Sharma, hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. She has a PhD. She's a licensed psychologist, certified rehabilitation counselor. So she created these games um, with cards, with questions to help couples communicate and um, like think outside the box and kind of maybe think about things that they, because, you know, you kind of get, when you're with someone for a long time, you get in your day-to-day -day, um, routines. And so I guess these are more to get you out of that routine and bring this bring spark and excitement and um, back. And, and if you already have that, just to get you closer. It's not really a, a fix. It's just more to bring you closer. Um, but this one is meant, we looked it up, it's for, it's focused on couples that are ages 25 to 40, uh, has 155 cards. It's designed for couples who are in a committed relationship. Most of the questions can also be played with other couples. So this is one you can, if you have a couple friend that you hang out with a lot. Um, so you could play that together over dinner, date night, or road trip. This would be a good road trip um, activity to do. Um, basically, it's two to four players. The, the idea is to talk, connect, and share. So it's, the idea of this is just to bring you closer and maybe... You might discover things about your partner that that you didn't know. I mean, you think you know everything, but I mean, we've been together what seventeen years? We're going eighteen. Eighteen. So you never know. I mean, there might be something that I didn't know about him that. Um, and then there's there's different cards. There's do, act, and experiment. So it's fun activities based on um, psychology and neuropsychology for healthy variation in a daily re routine. So it's just to get you out of that daily routine and um, add a little spice to your, to your life. So it comes with these little, it has 155 cards, but it also comes with, he talks about the author, which is Tanya Sharma. Tells you a little bit about the game, how she developed it, um, her her background, um, how to play, which really there's, it's a basic game. There's really no rules. It's just, um, she just recommends you set a time, set time aside every week to play this game. Um, randomly pick a card and just do it a couple times a week. And if it's not relevant, you just skip that card and go to the next one. Or if it's one, you're like, eh, I'm not feeling that right now. It has a relationship health tracker. Um, there's enough for 12 games. You just mark, um, after you play this game, how you felt. Terrible, bad, okay, good, or great. And you just kind of, if you do it several times over the period of time, you'll see how your mood was after you played the game. Um, she's got a card where you can win a $25 gift card if you um, basically scan this QR, QR code, code. <laughs> and post your gameplay pictures on Instagram. So it goes to her Facebook and her Instagram. So if you do purchase this game, it's worth it to try to win $25. You just post a picture of you and your partner um, playing this game and you got a chance to win. And also, she's uh, it's about doing a review. She's asking you to help her as a woman owned small business. They rely on reviews and feedback. So that's another QR code you can scan if you really like this game. Um, she would love for you to give her a, a positive review. So we're going to start it. We're only going to do about 10 questions. Um, cause we don't want to give them all away. Plus, um, it would make the video too long if we did more than that. So on the, on the box, I really like the art. It has the tree of life. Um, and it's in multiple colors. It's I'm I'm very spiritual, so for me that's a I really like that image. It's impactful. Um, it has just a little few little tips things. Research based, designed by US psychologists, 15 important life areas, easy to play. 
time is 30 to 90 minutes. Again, you make, you figure out how much, how long you want to play. You could do a couple questions, just however many questions you want to do. Um, she does donate profits to food banks. This helps nurture your relationship. It rekindles the spark and it was designed in the United States. So you start with the, the questions are on the back. So this is the front of the card. So you would just point that away from you and you can see the cards are really nice. They are embossed with gold edges. This, this is a really beautiful deck of cards. Um, so we'll get our first card and it's a talk, connect and share. If you were promised 100% success at anything that you started to work on today, what will you choose to accomplish? Oh, good first. <laughs> well, I'm asking you the question. I, I have to think. Of... Okay, so if I were promised 100% success, anything I started to work on today. Well, Anthony and I have our, we wear a lot of hats. So even though we've been, I've been working at home for the last year, which I love. Even though I'm working at home and I thought I would have so much more time. And we go nowhere because there's a pandemic. It's weird. I feel like I'm still always racing the clock, but in a good way. I'm not like anxiety, but it's, we have so many um, irons and different fires. Like I have a blog. He has his YouTube channels. I've, we, I have my, my eight to five job. I mean, it's, we, and we have a son, we have a dog and, and we've got a house we have to upkeep. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> Um, that we're achieving a balance, um, still having family time. And this channel helps us to really have family time because we play a lot of board games together. That's why we started this channel. We love this channel because it forces us to play board games as a family and just have fun. So this, even though it's, um, it's, we're constantly doing videos, it's fun for us. So I would say... What I would choose to accomplish is maintaining the balance. Even though I may not complete everything I wanted to complete, maintaining that balance and being present and actually continuing to enjoy what we're doing. That's what I would say. Mine would be uh, <laughs> better, it's kind of similar, but uh, better time management. Um, at times, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm allocating time to stuff that I shouldn't be, and I just need to focus and pretty much get the stuff done. So that's my uh, accomplishments that I need to do. Okay. Because I do, I, like she said, we, we do so much with our YouTube channel. And my son does K-12, which I, anyone who's in K-12 or a parent who's in... That's an online um, public school. Yeah. Family. But you have to, like, be on top of your child to make sure they do everything. Like, I'm... Yeah, everything. He's, the, he's the learning coach. Yeah. He's the stay-at-home dad learning coach. Mm -hmm. And you're basically, like, the teacher's assistant. Yeah, because I'm a disabled veteran, so... So the teachers, he's a teacher's assistant, basically, even though he has the online classes, but um, a lot of the stuff's not graded by the teacher. It's meant to be looked at by the learning coach and for him to give guidance if anything's wrong. And yeah, it's a really good program, but it, yeah. but you do, I mean, he is a kid and <laughs> the good thing is, the good thing is I have my bachelor's degree and so I went through enough school where I could actually assist him. And, you know, I have an IT degree, so I help him on a lot of the uh, computer stuff that he lacks. And so I try to break it down for him pretty easy, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so question two. Say something funny to your partner <laughs> to make them laugh. Uh, you want me to go first? Yeah. We're dorky, so I'm embarrassed. I don't want <laughs> Okay, so something funny. Okay, I'll tell you a story about a quarter. 
Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Well, we lived in Washington. <laughs> that, you're supposed to make me laugh. No. I did make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this corner. I've heard this story one million times. We drove, what was it, like 40 minutes <laughs> to get a quarter back, which... What was it for? I don't oh, know. Oh my god. It was like 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. I don't I don't I, remember. It, so And I think it's more than a quarter, but No, it was a quarter. Who knows? It, the story's been told many <laughs> times. Yeah. But I right. even told her when I die, my last words are gonna be that quarter. <laughs> 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 we literally drove 40 minutes to get a quarter, 40 minutes back, because it was, what was it, what did you say it was? The principal. The principal. But it was more than a quarter. No, it was a quarter. And I'm sure I had other things to get. It was, we literally <laughs> went there for a quarter and back. But I don't remember that. I will this, never so. forget, this was, when, this was when she was young, and she thought she, she the principal of it. <laughs> It's like, really? <laughs> now that we're older, we realize, yeah, that wasn't that. Uh... My time's were worth, worth more than a quarter. <laughs> so, yeah, that, <laughs> to this day, we still laugh about it. <sighs> he laughs more than me, because I'm, <laughs> but... now he has my son telling me this story. <laughs> I told her, if I ever die, or if I ever die, I will actually tell the, the nurse, <laughs> come here. Come, or leave a note and be like, the quarter. <laughs> the nurse won't get it, but. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I'm silly. I'm more silly. So we're always saying, <laughs> I'm going to do it. We're always saying, go and get. Like, we're always, I know you guys don't get that, but we always say that to each other. It's funny to us. It's inside joke. So I know that makes him laugh. <laughs> And we say it all the time. <laughs> That's our own little inside joke. So I know that he will he will laugh at that and you guys think she's weird, but I am. So <laughs> So talk, connect, and share. What has been the greatest challenge in your life? It's your turn to go first. Okay. Um I know I've talked about this before in the other couple connect video, but the greatest challenge was during the last recession, it was 2009. Um, we were already struggling. They cut our hours. It was a mandatory. We were living in Seattle, Washington or outside of Seattle. Very expensive. Like we were in this tiny little apartment for almost as much as we pay mortgage for this house. And it was, um, we were already struggling. He was in college. I had just finished college. I was like, so I was at an entry level job. I was stupid with money. <laughs> and then I found out I was pregnant right at the same time. They did a mandatory like 10%. They, they laid off several people and then they did a mandatory like 10% an hours cut. Even though I was salary, you had to do like a voluntary pay cut. So we were already struggling. So we had to move to another state near family and totally restart our life. We had no jobs. We had barely any money and it was just really stressful. And I was pregnant, but it was mainly, we, we had no choice. We had to do it. Like we could see the writing on the wall. So my greatest challenge is getting through that keeping a positive Anthony was very good I will say he's more of a let things happen the universe takes care of you me I'm more of a try to force it to happen at the time I was still in that phase and I was like I was panicking ready to just take any job just to keep you know make sure we were good but I did listen to him I did do my own way but I also listened to him and it was it did work out and and honestly, even though we were at the worst financial shape in our life, we were like the richest we ever were because we had this beautiful baby. We were, we'd been married, what, eight years then? And like, 
it brought us closer. I mean, we had nothing, <laughs> but it brought us closer. And and it was and it, it was an, honestly, I wouldn't trade that time for anything because I appreciate everything I have now and so much better with money. Like I now know you can't when you're young you think um you think you have all this time, you have you have plenty of time to catch up, you live for the moment, not for tomorrow and we had no savings. We were in credit card debt. Like we were just living like at the seat of, by the seat of our pants and it caught up with us. And that's happened to a lot of people. And we learned a lot from that. And luckily having a baby kind of makes you, it puts that extra pressure. Like it's not just you. Like if it was just us, I wouldn't have freaked out so much because it's us. We can fend for ourselves, but we've got this child now that depends on us and <laughs> So you just want to make sure that you're um, not homeless when <laughs> you have a baby. <laughs> so, I mean, we have family. We wouldn't technically be homeless, but still, um, living with family is not all it's cut out to be. It could be tough and put a lot of strain on your relationships. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that time's over, but I wouldn't trade it for the world because we came out. I believe better, and we learned a lot from that experience. My turn. <clears throat> Why well, has been the greatest challenge in our life? Well, it was a three month period. First, I had a golf size, um, what is it, herniated disc in my spine that was pinching for six months. I literally um, was taking a lot so I couldn't feel the pinched nerve. It was extremely bad. Um, passed out three times from it. And this was uh, due to military service. Um, but then after I had my surgery, three months after that, found out I had non-Hodgkin lymphoma T-cell. And so between that, the surgery and the cancer diagnosis, it put me in a state of great depression for a while. And so um, that was my biggest challenge that I've ever had. That was like, oh, and then it was two days after my birthday that I found out I had the cancer. So, yeah, it, it was a quiet experience. But good news is two weeks ago, three yeah. weeks ago. Two weeks. Even though his is a type that never really goes away. Yeah, that's blood. On it's paper and on his test, he's considered to be cancer-free at this moment. So yeah. We got really good news because they they screen him every six months. So, yeah, military. So we've, the VA has taken very good care of him, very good care of him. And it's, he's cancer-free and he's on a vegan diet and we really think that that's what, I've been vegan oh. vegan for three and a half years. Yeah, ever, ever since you found, you yeah, found out. Ever since I well, I was um, partially vegetarian. I didn't. I never really cared for meat, but um, I went straight to vegan right after. So his tumor immediately went down by half. Yeah, like within a month yeah. of doing the vegan diet, and then they told him his last visit that he's remarkable in the sense of. Um, he has, you can't even see where the tumor was, which yeah. is not normal. Normally it stays forever, doesn't it? Yeah. Or, yeah, it and stays for a long his time. Numbers, like his blood work and everything, is like amazing. So we really think it's the vegan diet that yeah. did that for him. And yeah, so that was a positive. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to die soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to live forever. Yeah. You're stuck with me. Okay, so. Another do act and experiment. Discuss pros and cons of two recreational goals. <laughs> Come to an agreement on one goal for this weekend. Okay, so this is not a good card for us because we're whole bodies. <laughs> we go nowhere. Yeah. And so recreational outside for us is not yeah, we, fun. We don't enjoy outside. So this is not a good card for us. So we will skip that one. <laughs> okay. Are your partner's expectations from you really high? Would you say they have very high expectations from themselves as well? Oh. 
so it depends on what expectations. Uh, like when it comes to uh, raising our child and making sure that he's uh, getting the education he has. In that aspect, yes. Um, but also, you know, just pretty much uh, pulling your weight as a partner. And so, but I wouldn't say it's high. It's just um, pretty much your standard of, you know, do what you need to do and, you know, take care of yourself and our child. So. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, and I'm really pampered, so Anthony's really good at um, building me up, so I wouldn't say his expectations are high, they're high because he has a lot of faith in me, if you look at it that way, he thinks highly of me and thinks he has a lot of faith in me and always builds me up, so... And definitely I have high expectations of myself. I'm always have goals and striving to do a little bit better, a little bit better. So yeah, I think we, in that aspect, we're a good team. And I'm probably hard on him a little bit sometimes, but I don't know, probably. <laughs> But I th I think I have a little bit of high expectations, but it's a good thing. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> so we're just gonna do one more. Okay. Okay, it's another talk, connect, and share. How are you balancing various life roles? Professional, partner, spouse, parent, son, daughter, and sibling. Sorry, to turn to go first. <laughs> Professional, of course, that's the, um, our income. So not, I don't put that first per se, but it is, um, a large part of my balance because I don't have a job. I don't like, we wouldn't be able to live like we do. So that's pretty high up there. But, um, my parents and siblings, I only have one sibling, but we we see each other like around holidays. I'm not one of these. I'm not a phone person, so I don't really talk on the phone all the time. But I make sure I at least talk to my. And Facebook has you know changed a lot of things. We're always talking like liking each other's and posts and stuff on Facebook. But as far as like time, that's more around holidays. Or if there's a certain event, like if they're in for an appointment or something around where we live, we make sure to go see them. But the partner and spouse and son and daughter thing, that's definitely the balance, most important balance between that and professional life. So we're always balancing that, our um, side gigs, career. That's always a balance challenge. So I don't know if I answered that question or not. <laughs> much, yeah, that's pretty much the same with me. It's the same thing, but um, bigger factors. Uh, my family lives way like they would have to fly here. So they live in the central U.S. We live more in eastern. So her family is more located around here. So it's easier to uh, connect and, you know, pretty much to get together. My family uh, lives far away, so um, I call them, and I used to call them every day. <laughs> <laughs> he used to call his mom four times a day. <laughs> I'm a mama's boy, but whatever. <laughs> I love my mom. So, um, yeah, but pretty much uh, I, you know, I keep in contact by calling my mom all the time, and then, uh, you know, I talk I have two brothers that I talked to, um, well, one of them, the other one we kind of fell apart. So, but pretty much that through communication, we talked through phone or uh, Facebook. So, and then of course, you know, our own uh, family with our kid, son and, you know, but I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> 
you know way too much about us now. But um, <laughs> but you can see how these cards, we only did six, but we don't want to bore you with um, every aspect of our life. But it kind of gives you an example, and there's 155 of them. So I can see how this would be a great road trip activity because you're confining a car and you're, you know, you need something to do anyway. So this would be a great activity to do in the car. But also at home, like if you want to just take some time out, lying in bed, answering some questions, that's the nice thing about it is you could pretty much do it wherever. It's just a little box of cards. Um, but I could see how this would, especially for couples that don't interact and talk as, like we are pretty, we're open yeah. with each other. Um, but I could see how couples that are more closed or, don't have a lot in common that this would be a great activity for because it would make them think more about things that maybe they don't put a lot of thought into. Um, but you could see we had fun with the questions. It kind of like brings up things, you know, in the past that you hadn't thought about in a long time. And you're like, or makes you kind of more um, look in retrospect at how far you've come. So it's, it does make you think about things that you day to day you probably don't think about because you're just in the you're in the rat race or just going through your daily routine so I would definitely suggest checking this out she has um three different ones there's one for new couples there's one for couples that have been together for a long time and then there's this one for couples that are in a committed relationship but they're more younger like we're a little over the age limit for this but um but that's why she has three different ones is to fit different, um, what would it be? Different, I went blank for a second. Aspect, avenues. Like, or whatever, wherever you're at in your relationship, whatever, um, I went blank. But if you're new, been together for a while in your 20s and 30s, or if you're more of an established couple, it's been together 15 or more years and slightly older, so that there's one for everyone so we we will be doing another one it's more for new couples but just to show um again what the what the cards are and so did you have anything else you want to add so if you enjoyed this video please support our channel by liking and subscribing and again we will put the uh the product link in the or the yeah the link for the product in the description and we'll also put the link for the previous video we did for the one if you've been together longer, if that one might be better for you. And you could also check it out. I'm sure when you click the product link, it will show you all the products she has. So you could choose whichever which one would work best for you. So uh, we hope you enjoy this, and we'll see you next time.